Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. Could there be any more posts from the Power BI team? Be sure to comment down below if you can spot what's up with the shelf behind me, what's a little different. Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. I only had a spot for one community post this week just because there were so many items from the Power BI team. So I threw in something I thought most people would like, which is about American football. Rob Colley from Power Pivot Pro posted a blog post, and I have to say, I think it's the shortest blog post in terms of word count that he's ever posted. And it's got some screenshots of a report he threw together to compare numbers and stats from football. It is the football season in the US, and this is a great time to throw something out for folks to use Power BI to compare stats amongst players, amongst teams, all that kind of stuff. I know a lot of folks get into that in this season. I played around with it a little bit. It's got some cool stuff inside of it. Click on the thumbnails and the blog post that'll take you over to those related pages. You can also go to the root URL to see all the items in the report. It's got some pretty amazing things inside of it. If you're into that kind of thing, go sports. There was an announcement about an upcoming Microsoft Business Applications virtual launch event on October 10th. The blog post states that this event is gonna go in depth into the items that are listed in the release plan for the upcoming semester. So all the items that are coming up in that release plan that are either dropping in October or even past that, they're gonna be showing off a bunch of that stuff. So it's gonna be pretty exciting. Definitely register and then go watch that on October 10th. All the details of this item are in the blog post. I got a link for it down in the description below, along with links for all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items. So be sure to check it out. We got the Power BI developer update for August, 2019. So all the items that came out in the developer space during that month. This includes Power BI Embedded plus API items. One thing that was called out is updates to the audit log to where you can actually see how the report was consumed from audit log events now. So for reports and dashboards, you'll be able to actually see was it consumed from the Power BI portal itself or from simplified embedding. So things like publish to web or secure embed, things of that nature. So that's pretty cool. Query caching is also enabled now for reports that are embedded in the service. So that is a great update. Also some API updates in terms of being able to configure sort operations from an API perspective. So that is awesome as well. There are other things listed in this blog post as well. So be sure to check it out if you are doing development work against Power BI, whether it is just API items or you're doing full on Power BI embedded, check out the blog post to stay up to date. We also got the Power BI service and mobile August 2019 monthly update. So this is again, everything that went on in August. To highlight a few items that happened in August, we got custom branding for organizations. So inside of the Power BI portal, if you flip on that new look, you can actually configure and put in your own logo. You can configure the colors and things of that nature. So you can make it a little more personable to your organization. We got some new capacity settings for Power BI Premium. So this allowed you to put some guardrails around the resources that are being used inside of Power BI Premium. And also we got URL parameters for paginated reports. Ooh, I've been waiting for this one for a long time, so I'm very happy that that is in the service now as well. Stay tuned for a video that shows how you can use that feature. There were more items, of course. Check out the blog post down in the description below for all the details. We got the September 2019 release of Power BI Desktop, and as always, there are new features that came out, and some of them are really, really cool. There were two items that I saw that got the most fanfare. The first one was the new default theme for Power BI Desktop. So this included updated colors, as well as some updates to some of the visuals just to align for better look and feel. For example, when you add like a table to your report, the default font and items are bigger now. So like you don't need this, right? The other item that got a lot of fanfare was the custom format string capabilities. So this is great that this is now available inside of Power BI Desktop. You can do this from the model view tab on fields and items that are in your report. And this allows you to do custom formatting from a date and number perspective to get it to look the way that you want. Patrick and I have been talking about just general performance items over the last couple of weeks. And there were two items also in this release that I thought were pretty cool. One was just a general update if 
you are connecting live to a multi-dimensional source, so analysis services multi-dimensional, that should work faster now. Also, there were updates to how direct query works. And so it's gonna do some magic under the hoods to make sure that items are going to be performing better when we use direct query. So those queries that are hitting your backend data source, hopefully they are going to perform better and more efficiently. Definitely more updates for Power BI Desktop. Check out the blog post down in the description below and make sure you've updated to the latest version. All right, I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. Let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what your favorite football team is. American football. I'm sure that'll spark some lively discussion in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.